I'm Jackie Fenske with 360 Alberta, and today we are at the Alberta Rural Development Network offices, and I am with Deanne Bernard. Deanne, tell me a little bit about ARDN. Well, the Alberta Rural Development Network basically works at a provincial level in Alberta on issues that affect rural Albertans. So we're always looking to fill gaps, um, things like homelessness, housing, access to services, things like that. And you have a current project on looking at housing and homelessness in uh, rural Canada. Uh, I don't see too many people sleeping on park benches in rural Canada. Well, of course you don't because homelessness in rural communities doesn't look like it does in the city. It's hidden. Nobody's going to be sleeping on a park bench almost ever in a rural community. If you live there, you don't want people to know you're facing issues, so you put on the the good front, but you might be living in a house that has no heating or no running water. You might be living in your car. You might be living in a tent or trailer in the bush. You might be living 20 people in a house that should be for four or five people. Or you might be couch surfing. So there's a lot of homelessness in rural communities, but it's well hidden. And is the funding formula the same for rural as it is for the major centers? Well, unfortunately, no. Um, the tension tends to go to the urban centers because of that visibility. You see homeless people in, in Edmonton, so that's where you want to put your money. Um, but we would like to advocate for funding for homelessness in rural communities because we want to address it where it happens. We don't want to just transfer the problem from the rural communities to the city. Um, also, we know we can save a lot of money. So if you send somebody to a city because that's where they can access services, it's going to cost cost our economy a lot more money if we help them in the community where they have their familiar supports and services and they know the know the people there we keep people in our rural communities and and they do much better and it costs less money Deanne if uh, rural homelessness is hidden how do you know that it actually exists or how bad it is well that's a good question because in the cities um, how we know how many people are homeless is they do point in time counts so that means that a big team of volunteers will go out for one or two days and go where they know homeless people are. So whether it's on the streets or in the shelters, they'll go out, they'll survey people, they'll count them. It's very easy. When people are hidden, you can't do that. So how do you estimate homelessness in rural communities? That was a question we wanted answered because we wanted the data. We knew it existed, but is it, is it half a percent of the population? Is it 5% of the population? We wanted to answer that question. So we created a guide on how to estimate uh, rural homelessness in a smaller community and essentially what that does is it uses service providers so we're going to assume that people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness are going to be accessing services so when they go into the food bank or they go into the local employment office or the FCSS office those people will survey those the the clients to determine whether in fact they are or are not homeless so that's how we're estimating it. So we created this guide and we actually have done a bunch of homelessness estimations across Alberta and various communities. Um, so we have a much better handle now on, on the level of homelessness. I'm going to ask you this question because I'm sure you've been asked uh, it before. How do you know that you're not uh, duplicating the count as um, one individual might access several services? That's right. And, and so we don't want to identify people. So if Jackie Fenske comes in looking for services, we don't want to say Jackie Fenske. But what we'll do is based on some of the things we know about you, we'll create a, a, a letter and number combination so that if you go into several services, they'll create that same letter and number combination. So when we look at the data, we see, oh, Jackie has come in three times. We don't know it's you, but we know that that same person has come in multiple times. So we can tell whether it's a unique person or whether it's the same person over and over again. All right, so you've created a guide. How do people get their hands on this guide? So we created the first version a couple of years ago, and we have just revised it and released it. Um, the, we do have hard copies, but anyone can download it off of the ARDN website, which is just ARDN.ca. Um, it's there for anybody to use. And what are the next steps? Now we've got the study, now we've got the paperwork. What happens next? Well, we realize that this isn't an issue just in Alberta. It's an issue across rural Canada. And there aren't um, any big organizations working on it. So we decided to create a national network to work on rural and remote housing and homelessness issues. So we're also just in the process of getting that started. And we're inviting people to become a member um, if, if this is a concern to them. What types of organizations do you see uh, belonging to this network and who are you reaching out to? We're really re reaching out to anybody, but we do want it to be grassroots led. So it's 
people, organizations in small communities that are actually dealing with these issues. But we also want larger, even urban-based organizations to join because, you know, if we don't tackle rural homelessness where it's happening, it's just going to become an urban issue. So it's everybody's issue. Certainly a very timely project because uh, if it's all across Canada, how do people get involved with this new network? Well, again, they can visit our website. There's information about the network and they just have to email us to join. Um, we're in the process of you know, getting on new memberships as we speak. I'm Jackie Fenske and we have been here with Deanne Bernard with the Alberta Rural Development Network and uh, we've been talking a little bit about rural housing and homelessness. I'm Jackie Fenske with 360 Alberta. We'll see you again next time.